Charles has some issues, some medical issues, and uh, isn't going to be able to drive to get here today, so we're not able to add Charles in today. And we just kind of want to join in our opening prayer, and we want to kind of lift up our dear friend and brother Charles <coughs> as he's dealing with some pain and some issues. So we're just going to gather together in one heart and in one mind and just join together and just uplift our brother that he will be comforted, his pain will ease, and he will find rest. Great and gracious God, this is the day you have made. Just as each new day arrives and unfolds, we celebrate this new day. We celebrate that light that shines from within each one of us, as fresh and as new as every dawn. We give thanks for this opportunity to come together, to be of one mind, one heart, and as we know the truth in and through and for each of us, we come together in love, in peace, and in harmony. And so it is. Amen. I'm going to ask you to join me in our opening song, I Am the Place Where God Lives. Am I strong enough to bear the burdens that sometimes comes living in this thing called life? Am I wise enough to make right decisions and know the ways standing at the fork in the road? Sometimes I wander and ponder only to realize I'm not alone. There's nothing I have to do on my own. I am the place where God lives, moves and breathes and has its being. I am the place where God shows up. I am the place where God lives, moves and breathes and has its being. I am the place where God shows up. Will I have enough to do the things I need to do to take care of myself? Will I have the health of mind and body to live a life of grace, whole and free. Sometimes I wander and ponder only to realize I'm not alone. There's nothing I have to do on my own. I am the place where God lives, moves and breathes and has its being. I am the place where God shows up. I am the place where God lives, moves and breathes and has its being. I am the place where God shows up. I am the place, you are the place, we are the place where God shows up. I am the place, you are the place, we are the place where God shows up. Sing the chorus with me. I am the place where God lives, moves and breathes and has its being. I am the place where God shows up. I am the place where God lives, moves and breathes and has its being. I am the place where God shows up. Good morning, you beautiful people. Welcome to Unity of Lehigh Valley. My name is Karen, and I am delighted to be assisting Mark Udemoser and Anthony Young this morning. We are grateful Spirit has led you here through Facebook Live. Sorry about that. Our affirmative statements express our Unity denominational statement of belief as well as the vision and mission of Unity of Lehigh Valley. 
as I introduce each of our affirmative statements, I invite you to consider joining me in speaking the statement aloud. We hope you also share in the vision and mission for this ministry. There is only one presence, one power, one activity in my life and in the universe, God the good omnipotence. The vision unity of Lehigh Valley holds for the world. We co-create an awakened world of peace, harmony, and abundance. The mission that is ours to do, united in love, we provide a positive environment for all people to discover and express their spiritual nature. Yes, we do. Lifetime of decisions, and what is there to show? A few years been and gone, perhaps a few years left to go. Well, there's a difference between living and discovering the truth. I've done too much of the former. It's been a quite protracted youth. But when it comes down to the latter, I'm an infant, nothing more. But I'm finding that's a matter for my soul, not mind or body to explore. Don't decide, the voice says. Don't decide, make no choices. Don't decide, and you'll finally get it right. I say that's counter to everything I've ever learned. I'm supposed to be ambitious. I'm supposed to always yearn. I thought every day I meant to climb a little higher than before, to be just a little better known, to own a little more. But if that's all smoke and mirrors, what am I then going to do? What's the next move I should make? What's the next path I'm supposed to choose? Don't decide, the voice says. Don't decide, make no choices. Don't decide, and you'll finally get it right. It's a deceptively simple call When I'm holding nothing Only then I'll have it all I guess I'll see Maybe it isn't up to me Don't decide The voice says don't decide, make no choices Don't decide, and you'll finally get it right Don't decide, the voice says Don't decide, make no choices Don't decide, you're gonna be all right Thank you, Mark, for that. That was beautiful. Um, it's time for the daily word, but I did want to make a mention that it's funny how spirit works in and through all of us, um, because as we made last-minute changes this morning, 
um, to accommodate our dear friend Charles Lee. Um, the song that Mark is singing on the spur of the moment um, leads beautifully into the daily word, which is listen today. So um, it's a great lesson for all of us to realize that spirit works in and through us for good at all times. So the daily word for today is listen, October 25th, 2020. In the quiet of my heart, I listen for the voice of spirit. And our message reads, during the course of a busy day, I may hear all kinds of things, conversations, music, sounds from nature, traffic noise, and even my constant self-talk. Sometimes, all that I'm hearing may numb me to the more intentional act of listening. As I listen, I become aware of the voice of spirit. It's comforting, guiding presence feels like a homecoming. As I settle into a tranquil environment and begin to relax my body and my mind, I create a welcoming space for listening to the assuring voice of spirit, discernible as my inner knowing. I breathe deeply and I rest in this space. I go about my day listening attentively for the voice of spirit expressing through all of the people in my life. And from Luke chapter 11, verse 28, blessed rather are those who hear the word of God and obey it. Are you listening? Are you hearing things? God and spirit are here today and have something for you to hear. Listen, are you ready? Is your soul ready? I'm going to ask you to join me as we sing, Get Ready My Soul. Get ready, my soul. I'm diving in. <coughs> Get ready, my soul. I'm diving in to the deepest kind of love, to the sweetest kind of life. Get ready. Get ready, my soul. Everything I've ever done, everything I've ever seen, everything I've lost or won, Everything I've ever dreamed has brought me here to the present moment here to a new beginning here and I'm seeing life so clearly now get ready my soul i'm diving in get ready my soul i'm diving in to the deepest kind of love to the sweetest kind of life. Get ready, get ready, my soul. Cause here I go, deeper, deeper, deeper than I've ever been before. Here I go. Closer, closer, closer to my sacred source. Here I go, 
Deeper, deeper, deeper than I've ever been before. Here I go. Closer, closer, closer to my sacred source. Get ready, my soul. I'm diving in. Get ready, my soul. I'm diving in to the deepest kind of love, to the sweetest kind of life. Get ready, get ready, my soul. Get ready, get ready, my soul. Amen. Are you ready? God is here. We are blessed. We are blessed with many blessings, and you never know where God's going to lead you, but we're grateful that God has led us to this place today, and we're grateful for our guest feature musician jack of all trades he's even the guy that takes care of the building i think too so at least all involved in that our jack of all trades and we are really blessed to have him here today please welcome mark Udemoser. i am one of several who take care of the building <coughs> <clears throat> it is coming. One power invisible, but you see it everywhere and every day. One power indescribable, yet you speak of it with every word you say. Mysterious until you know the truth. As simple as the love inside of you. Call it God, call it Spirit, call it Jesus, call it Lord, call it Buddha, Baha'u'llah angels' wings or heaven's door, but whatever name you give it, it's all one power, can't you see? It's the power of the love in you and me. One power, one power, one power. We speak so many languages, different clothing, different colors, different names. But different is only dangerous when we forget that in our hearts we're all the same. But we remember when we close our eyes to see that such differences were never meant to be. Call it God, call it
Call it spirit, call it Jesus, call it Lord, call it Buddha, Baha'u'llah, angel's wings or heaven's door. It's Mohammed, it's your mind, it's your soul or it's your sign. It's the universe, it's music, Mother Earth or Father Time. But whatever name you give it, it's all one power, can't you see? Whatever name you give it, it's the very air we breathe. It's the power of the love in you and me. One power, one power, one power is who we are. One power. Oh, one power, one power. It's the moment of creation. It's an everlasting peace. It's the freedom of forgiveness. It's the sweetness of release. It's the joy of inspiration. It's the sunshine on your face. It's the birthright of all nations. It's the boundlessness of space. It's the beauty of a baby, the serenity of sleep. It's the anger we abandon for a love that's most deep. It's one power. One power, yes we are, it's one power, uh, one power, it's the power of the love that lives forever in the power of the love in you and me. Thank you. I got a call this morning to see if I could come up with something to speak about this morning. So at 7.30, I found a reading that I wrote when we lived in California. And I did it at the Unity Church in Vacaville, California. So I will do it now here. It's called Oneness of Life. What is life? We are created in the image and the likeness of God. And God never makes mistakes. We are built perfectly as God intends. Best able to accomplish the task for which we were born. We are programmed perfectly, but when we are born, we forget. And so life becomes a journey, but not of discovery, more of connection. The answers we seek are contained in a single moment, in a special secret moment, a moment like no other, a moment that will come only once, but will never fully leave, a present moment in which nothing else exists but you and your surroundings. Children can focus on this moment. And in these moments, we become as children for just a moment, but it is enough. Here are some of my moments. You've been hunting grouse all afternoon. You've heard birds, but you never see them. Your grouse flushes at sunset on your way back in. 
It is completely in the open, a very rare thing if you've ever hunted grouse. It glides straight ahead through red and gold leaves, a silent silhouette in the sunlight, a perfect shot, but the world has stopped, and you never even raise your gun. You sit in your tree stand in late afternoon, it's warm and the leaves are turning color, much like they are now. All grows silent as you calm down. You hear the breeze rustling in the trees. You hear bird wings as they fly invisibly around you. You hear a squirrel searching, though you cannot see him. You watch the clouds. You are attentive to every shadow, every movement. The snapping twig sounds like a thunderbolt. Behind you, always behind you, and you cannot turn. So your mind explodes in imagination, as you hope it's not just another hunter. It isn't. It's a young doe, completely unaware. She is not meant for your arrow but she is the most exciting thing. And though you continue to keep watch, you're focused on her every move as she crosses the clearing, every motion of fluid grace. You sense the power in those legs, even at her young age. And then she is gone. The birds return from their day of field. Time to go home. Time to smile. Sitting outside the delivery room. After 14 hours of labor, it has to be a C-section. You wait, but not patiently. For you are here, and she is there. That line is the one that sp spawned this entire writing. And then the door opens. You receive a bundle and some words from the doctor that she is fine. You hear, but barely. So focused are you on the bundle. One eye slightly open. The pupil moves back and forth. Suspicion, but not fear. The world has completely stopped in this moment. You get him cleaned up and measured as they do. And then you sit together and rock until you can take him to see her. It is not long enough and somehow too long. And then she is awake. You go upstairs. The three of you are whole, perfect, and complete. You hand him over, but he is sealed in your heart forever. Is this how God felt? Is this how God felt when he handed me over? What is life? It is a journey. A journey through a magnificent world. And for a brief moment, we are permitted to be part of it. To be one with it. As you were always meant to be. A journey of connection. From James DeLitt Freeman, we hear the words, Yet I am there, yet I hear, yet I answer. When you need me, I am there. Even if you deny me, I am there. Even when you feel most alone, I am there. Even in your fears, I am there. Even in your pain, I am there. I am there when you pray and when you do not pray. I am in you and you are in me. Only in your mind can you s feel separate from me. Yet only with your mind can you know me 
and experience me. Empty your heart of empty fears. When you get yourself out of the way, I am there. You can of yourself do nothing, but I can do all, and I am in all. Though you may not see the good, good is there, for I am there. I am there because I have to be, because I am. Only in me does the world have meaning. Only out of me does the world take form. Only because of me does the world go forward. I am the law on which the movement of the stars and the growth of living cells are founded. I am the love that is the law's fulfillment. I am assurance. I am peace. I am oneness. I am the peace. I am one with you. I am. Though you fail to find me, I do not fail you. Though your faith in me is unsure, my faith in you never wavers because I know you, because I love you. I'm going to take a few moments in meditation. Just going to ask you to center yourself. Close your eyes if that helps, if you can. Focus your attention. Take a couple of deep healing breaths, gentle healing breaths. Follow the breath from your head down into your heart. Feel that you are supported by the chair that you sit in. And know that you are held in the embrace of, divi of the divine. There in that centering of your being, in your place of connection, feel that as you breathe that spirit essence in, it infuses every cell of your body right here, right now. In this moment, you are whole and complete. As you know that oneness, you can release any thoughts about mistakes that have been made. Any time when you have judged yourself or judged others for missing the mark, breathe in, breathe out, release. There is nothing that diminishes you in the essence of the Christ within you. There is nothing that separates us from the oneness. Take a moment. Breathe. Breathe in. Breathe out. Release. We feel the peace, that peace of wholeness that peace of alignment, that peace of knowing love that is our true nature. We breathe in, we breathe out, we release. As we keep breathing, gently we bring ourselves back into this time and place, grateful for the truth we know and grateful for the truth we live. And so it is. Amen. Now is the time in our service when we have the opportunity to share our gifts of love. We know that money is simply one more channel
for the energy of God's good to flow in and through us. We gratefully accept these generous gifts and we bless the gift and the giver without knowing how spirit uses us to bless this ministry and the world. So we bless the gifts we hold in our hands by affirming together the activity of spirit through me blesses and multiplies all that I am, all that I have, all that I give, and all that I receive. So I came to a fork in the river And I didn't know which way I should go I had no map, no compass, no driver Precious little information to show It can be hard in this life to make decisions And it's an altogether common thing to fail But as I surveyed my current situation I decided to just go ahead and say There is no one way, there is no foolproof plan No faithful final chance Just wake up each day and do the best you can And when you hear the music dance I confess I get confused quite often Seemed at times I hardly ever get it right But I think life's about just facing fear and trying So I just point my little boat toward the light There is no one way, there is no foolproof plan No faithful final chance Just wake up each day and do the best you can And when you hear the music dance so whatever you're facing, just remember The control you've been craving cannot be So take a long, deep breath and surrender it You'll be all right, you'll see There is no one way, there is no foolproof plan No faithful final chance Just wake up each day and do the best you can and when you hear the music dance There is no one way, there is no foolproof plan No faithful final chance Just take a beach day and do the best you can And when you hear the music dance There is no one way, there is no foolproof plan No faithful final chance just wake up each day and do the best you can And when you hear the music dance When you hear the music dance When you hear the music dance dance when I hear the music. Always. Right, Mark? I'm dancing right next to you. <laughs> the core value we celebrate for the month of October is spiritual growth. Trusting the wisdom within each one, our paths unfold and lead us to accept a deeper understanding of the powerful love that we are. Our prayer chaplains continue to be active while we are social distancing and not able to gather together. Whether you have a joy to multiply or a sorrow to divide, our prayer chaplains join you in prayer. Feel free to reach out to your prayer chaplain, and if you're not sure who your prayer chaplain is, please contact me in the office. Our gratitudes for today. Well, our gratitudes have changed, so we are grateful that spirit is healing 
Charles Lee uh, rapidly, and we miss you, Charles, and we will see you again very soon. And we are grateful to Mark for coming in on the spur of the moment with that beautiful reading, and grateful to this entire team who really only consists of four of us. <laughs> um, to pull together as uh, one spirit in love. And um, I might mention that we do gratitudes every single week. And um, I've learned in the last several months how important gratitude really is and being grateful for what is happening in my life, but also what is to come and knowing and trusting that spirit is gonna provide everything that's in my highest good. I've learned that lesson a lot in the last couple of months and today seems like a particularly appropriate day to do it. If you are grateful for something about ULV or you have something you'd like to share in the weekly email, just send a note to the office by Tuesday of each week. Please join us next Sunday, November 1st, as we welcome back Charlie Thweet as our guest speaker and guest musician. His topic will be finding the gift must be present to win. Charlie delves into ways we can shift our perception about the seeming problems in our life. He will share personal stories and real life realizations that have come from his hardest moments. Plus, he'll assure us that when our minds are caught up in that chaos, A Course in Miracles would remind us I could see peace instead of this. Just a note, Charlie will be um, live streamed into our Facebook Live via Zoom. He won't actually be present in the sanctuary, so we're looking forward to seeing him. Unity of Lehigh Valley continues to incur routine bills even while we are not meeting in our sanctuary. Your continued gifts assure the ongoing work that we do and maintaining our building to return to. There is a donate button on the top, top navigation bar of our website where you can pay through PayPal. Of course, you can also mail a check directly to the church at Unity of Lehigh Valley, 26 North 3rd Street, Emmaus, Pennsylvania, 18049. You can also set up a weekly or monthly payment directly from your bank. Contact me in the office if you have any questions about how to get your donation to the church, and we are so grateful for your continued giving. Are you looking for more connection during this time? Rick Stober is inviting you to join him for a daily Zoom coherence call at 11.30 each morning. Feel free to join once a week or every day. Details on how to join the meeting are in our weekly email. We are now allowing four to five congregants into our sanctuary for Sunday services as we transition slowly into reopening Unity of Lehigh Valley. If you would like to attend in person, please call me in the office at 610-965-3036, option one, or email me at unitylv at rcn.com to reserve your seat. Reservations are necessary and will be on a first come, first served basis. Masks and six foot social distancing are also required. The annual women's retreat at Dewey Beach will be for three nights in all of the three villas with a maximum of five in each at an estimated cost of $275 pending 2021 price verification. Deposit of 50% is due by January 31st. Dates are September 17 to 20th, 2021. The retreat is open to any woman. If you are interested, please let Jenny Stangline know by January. Deposits are only refundable if the state of Delaware closes resorts due to COVID. As a reminder, you can find all of our archived live stream services on our website or our YouTube channel. Our website is unityoflehighvalley.org. You can also subscribe to our weekly Wednesday email directly from our website. We invite you to subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. Join our fellow congregants on November 1st for some much needed fellowship with each other via Zoom. The link will be provided in the Wednesday email this coming Wednesday. We send our deepest condolences to Rick and Sandy Stober on the passing of Rick's sister, Mary Kay Stober. Our thoughts and prayers are with you and your family as you navigate this difficult time. 
for those of you who are watching that are new to Unity of Lehigh Valley, and there are quite a few, our senior minister retired after 11 years in May. We are in the midst of seeking our new permanent senior minister. So now is our time to come together as a congregation in mind and soul in affirming our right and perfect minister will appear to us easily. Each week we will state this affirmation. I invite you to speak it aloud with me this morning and to keep it available to you during the week. It's also in our weekly Wednesday email. We all know that thoughts held in mind produce after their kind. So let's speak this affirmation aloud together. Filled with the spirit of divine love and wisdom, we are guided and directed in our thoughts, our words, and our actions as we move towards the employment of the right minister for the highest good of this ministry. And so it is. Thank you, God. Yes, and thank you, Karen. <clears throat> thank you for sharing with us. If you have a, a good word you want to share or something like that, please do send it to the office, and we'd love to hear from you and, and uh, get a chance to share your blessings to us. We are blessed indeed. Uh, it's been a good morning this morning, and uh, grateful to Karen, and especially grateful to Mark for coming in and filling in at the last minute and doing such a great job and being here, and to the dynamic Bill uh, Gassinger, who's running our camera and making us look good, and to the awesome Waltz of Hartchick back there making us all sound good and taking care of us. We are blessed. We are incredibly grateful for our wonderful tech people that that do all this for us because it just wouldn't happen, <laughs> in other words. But we are blessed, and I hope you are blessed, and I hope you are blessed in being with us today. So we're going to join together now. And not that we haven't been together already, but we're just going to reach out and know that we are there. Sometimes you feel like you're so distant. You know, we have social distancing today, but that's just physical distancing. And we are still here together. We are together. God is in us, and we are one. I'm going to ask you to join with me as we sing our peace song, As We Are One. And let it begin with me. Let there be peace on earth, the peace that was meant to be. With God as creator, brothers and sisters all are we. Let me walk with my family in perfect harmony. Let peace begin with me. Let this be the moment now. With every step I take, let this be my joyous vow to take each moment and live each moment in peace eternally. Let there be peace on earth and let it begin with me. The light of God surrounds us. The love of God enfolds us. The power of God protects us. The presence of God watches over us. Wherever we are, God is. May peace prevail in the hearts and minds of all beings. And so it is. Amen. Namaste.